a trusty capo here on the third fret. Now I'm gonna refer to all these chords like we're in open position. So before I get emails saying, you know, sir, that isn't exactly the right chord you're saying there, I know. It's just easier this way. So that being said, not too many chords. All right, so we got a D chord. So we're gonna be second fret on the G and the E with our first and second finger. Ring finger is gonna be on the third fret of the B string. We're gonna have an A chord. You can do an A either one, two, three on the D, G, and B, or some people like to do it like that. A string down. We gotta have a G chord. We're gonna have a second finger, third fret, first finger, second fret. Our pinky and our ring finger are going to be on the third fret of the B and the E. You get to hit them all. The only bar chord we have is what looks like a B minor. So we're gonna go from the second fret of the A to the E, and then we're gonna do the third fret and the fourth frets, right? Remember, behind the capo, uh, on the D and the G string. It's gonna have that sound to it. That's basically all the chords in the whole tune. So we start off with a B minor, That progression right there is also the same progression as the chorus. So again, that's B minor, or what would be a B minor, right? This was zero fret again, <laughs> to a G. The next chord would be a D, followed by an A. Now I'm gonna keep this pattern simple and I'm gonna use the same pattern for everything in the whole song, just to keep it really easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a down, down, up, down. So we got. And then we're gonna go down again, so it's. So down, down, up, down. And then the next one is gonna be down, up, up, down. So we got. And then we're gonna go down, up, down, up. I know you're like, dude, I can't follow all that. We're gonna keep it real slow here. We got down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Again, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, right? Okay, so, intro. From there, it's just a really simple chord progression. We're gonna have D to G twice. So we're gonna, same strum pattern, same everything. We're gonna go D, A, G. You're just gonna do that whole thing twice. So let's hear what that sounds like all together. And that's gonna get us into the course.
right, so that's basically it. You did the intro already. So that is basically the same thing as the chorus, except we're gonna do it a couple times through. So we're just gonna go B minor, G, D, A. We're gonna do that progression twice, and then we're gonna end it with a G. So all together, here we go. Now, on the outro of the song, it's gonna do the same chord progression over and over again. I think it does it four times. And instead of ending on a G, you're gonna end on that A. So, 